Hello everyone, it's Skill here from the Grim Reapers, and today I'll be going through a hardware review for the Authenticate Replica Spitfire Mark IX Elevator and Rudder Trim Wheels. This is a short, supplementary video to the Throttle Quadrant review I did in my last video, as the trim wheels actually come as part of the Starter Kit B, which includes the Throttle Quadrant. First of all, the usual disclaimer. Authenticate sent me the elevator and rudder trim wheels for review, however, they did not ask for any favourable comments, only that I be fair and honest in my findings. I will quickly show you what I received in the package. First of all, there is the rudder trim wheel. As you can see, it is fully assembled and ready to mount to the rig. Second is the elevator trip. Oh, I guess I better get building then. Actually, Authenticate sent me over the unassembled kit for the elevator trim wheel, as I thought it would be good to show in this video that even someone like me, without any specialist tools or particular skills, can assemble their kits. In this case, Although I have edited the footage in the video to cut down on wasted time, the whole assembly process for the elevator trim wheel took me less than 10 minutes. I followed the instruction video found on Authenticate's YouTube channel and found that it made putting the wheel together very straightforward. Now, this is in no way an instructional video on how to assemble the elevator trim wheel. Instead, I will just let the footage play in the background whilst I give you some information and my thoughts about the trim wheels. As with the other items in Authenticate's ever-growing inventory of 3D printed controls, both the elevator and rudder trim wheels are one-to-one -one scale replicas of the wheels found within the Mark IX Spitfire. They are both very well designed and put together. The main structural parts are 3D printed, and all of the hardware is of high quality with sealed bearings and rotary encoders. Both connect to the mounting rig using the Authenticate Quick Release mounting plate system that is common to all of their controls, and each trim wheel connects the universal hub via the RJ45 socket and an Ethernet cable. This means that even though I now have four Authenticate controls for use in my virtual Spitfire, I still only require one USB connection from the universal hub to the PC, or in my case, the USB hub. Both trim wheels are fitted with a nitrile coated cork disc which is used to apply friction within the bearing unit. This allows the level of resistance applied to the rotation of the control to be adjusted and set according to the user's preference. As you can see, and as per several of the videos from Authenticate themselves, the unassembled elevator trim wheel makes an excellent dish to hold any screws whilst you're constructing your kit. In fact, Authenticate has now used it in this fashion so many times that I think it is mandatory and I am simply following the rules. Once constructed, the wheel is excellent in shape and size, and the tactile feel of it whilst flying in VR is brilliant. The rudder trim wheel is the smaller and thicker of the two, and is located aft of the elevator trim wheel in the cockpit. Again, the tactile feel whilst flying in VR is great. The builder of this particular rudder trim wheel has also added an extra level of detail by inserting white silicon into the recessed writing on the face of the wheel. OK, I think I've bored you all enough. I'll give you a break for a wee while whilst you sit back and relax and watch the construction of the elevator trim wheel. Instead of me droning on, you can listen to the sound of the Merlin engine. But don't worry, I'll come back near the end of the video.
Once assembled, the trim wheels are mounted in their respective positions after the throttle quadrant on the mounting rig. I have tried to show in this video how accurately they can be placed with regards to the layout of the real cockpit. If there's one thing that I find to be a minor niggle, it would be that the speed of the rotation of the trim wheels in-game sometimes does not quite match the speed at which you move the physical controls. This appears to be a limitation of the rotary encoder or the Bodnar software, and it's really only noticeable when setting takeoff trim. The speed of rotation is perfectly fine when in flight. As I've said earlier, the feel of using the trim wheels in their correct locations whilst flying in VR is unbeatable. Reaching down into the virtual cockpit and adjusting the trim, which you have to do regularly in the Spitfire, just feels a lot more natural than any of the other controls I have tried to use for this in the past. In conclusion, as with the Authenticate Spade Grip, and as these trim wheels come as part of the Throttle Quadrant Kit, I can honestly and wholeheartedly recommend this product. The immersion factor, especially in VR, is simply unbeatable. I know that Authenticate is working on more controls for the Spit and an ever-expanding number of other aircraft, so no matter what you fly, it's well worth keeping your eye on their site for what comes next. Well, this is Skill, thank you all for taking the time to watch this review, and I hope you found it useful. Catch you later.